so now let's just create a new account for user so as you know that on our auth controller we have create this method which we will implement now of course so as we are going to create a new user so first of all we will uh, create user in the firebase authentication okay and then the next step will be next step will be basically to save the user profile image to firebase storage and then finally as a result of this when we save the image to the firebase storage we get the download url now that download url is basically a link with the help of which we can access that specific image each image will have their own unique download URL okay similarly after that we will save this information alongside with the username user email and user password the image download URL all this information we will save finally to the Firestore database so you can say save user data to the Firestore database so these three steps we have to implement so first of all let's create user that is save user in the firebase authentication so for that purpose we can simply say that user credential which belongs to the firebase auth package or you can say dependency so user credential credential equals to let's make this method asynchronous so we can wait as we are going to create the user in the firebase authentication so what we can do is we can simply say firebase auth dot instance dot dot create user with email and password okay so let me move this to the next line so that we can see it easily now to this we have to pass two parameter first one is the email and second one is the password so the email is the user email which we are receiving inside this method as a parameter so the user email and then the user password so this piece of code this will basically create the user inside the firebase authentication using the user email and password and if you come back here to the firebase console if you go to the authentication then as you know that we have already enabled the email password okay we are using the email password login feature okay so that's why we create user with email and password then after it the next thing will be once the user is created successfully next thing is to save the user profile image to the firebase storage